We are finally gonna do it, man. I thought I was blading or something. Uh, the Metal Outlaw, Adra, the Metal Outlaw is uh, coming back, and we have mentioned this band several times during the first listens. Kingdom of Sorrow. And that's uh, Jamie Josta, the singer for Hate Breed, and Kirk Winstein. They teamed up. And today, great title for a song, God's Law in the Devil's Land. That is poetic as all get out of town. And if there's one thing that people will agree with me on is Jamie Josta is a poet and didn't even know it. So we're going to listen to a little Kingdom of Sorrow today. And we're going to do this for our pal Adra. Let's learn about the band and we'll listen to the song God's Law in the Devil's Land. Mm. Let's do it. 24,917 monthly listeners on the Spotify account for Kingdom of Sorrow. The top five jams, they all come from one record. Is that the only one they've got? Looks like they got two records there, but uh, uh, these all come from the same record. This one right here. Uh, Enlightened to Extinction, 783,000 plays. The song we are doing here today, God's Law and the Devil's Land, 680,000 plays. Buried in Black, 229,000 plays. From Heroes to Dust, 219,000 plays. And Behind the blacks, the Blackest Tears, uh. 186,000 plays. Let's look into them albums. I know Jamie Joss is a very busy guy. He does his podcast and he does a bunch of bands and he does Hate Breed and everything else. So it looks like 2008 they put out the self titled Kingdom of Sorrow album. And then Behind the Blackest Tears comes out in 2010. They haven't done anything since. Get in the comments below and tell me uh, what the dealio is with that. Uh, now, what we're going to do is go down and look into the related artists. This is going to tell us bands we might want to check out, bands they might have toured with, uh, bands that are on the same playlist as Kingdom of Sorrow. Uh, you got Crowbar. Of course, they're going to be there. Uh, Raging Speedhorn. That sounds familiar to me. The Sign of the Southern Cross. We've mentioned them before. Uh, Throwdown. Yeah, we've done some Throwdown, I want to say, I believe. Soylent Green. Uh, Skin Lab. Propane, mm, 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 down. We went on a down, we went down, 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 down by the riverside uh, quite a couple times recently on the first listens with down. A Perfect Murder. Why do I think I've heard some of their stuff and really like that? Al Alabama Thunder Pussy, Pissing Razors. We've done uh, some Pissing Razors on the uh, program. And in fact, I think... Uh, Adra has another Pissing Razors coming up here soon, and Damage Plan. Um, so there is the related artist for the band. There, it is time to get into that bio now. I'm very foggy brain today, and it's really pissing me off. But let's get into it. You've got an image here, and it's a two tough boys, and they've got the shaved heads. And it's not because they're going bald or anything. It's just because they like the shaved head look. The guy with the beard there is Kirk Winstein. He's the lead singer guitar player for a band called Crowbar. And the little fella there, the taller fella, but the, the, but the thinner fella, uh, is Jamie Josta, singer for Hate Breed and oh so many other fun things and projects. Another side project from Crowbar's Kirk Winstein and Hate Breed's Jamie Josta. Kingdom of Sorrow was formed in 2005 when the two found they had a desire to pay homage to some of the heavy, heavier legends in the genre and added their own individual stamp to the style. Working with producer Zeus, the band completed their, uh, their first album, Kingdom of Sorrow, in 2007, and it was slated for release in February of 2008 by Relapse. Winstein and Josta then assembled a band to take the Kingdom of Sorrow tour, uh, roping in Steve Gibb, formerly of Black Label Society on guitar, Derek Kurzweil of Seamless on drums, and Matthew Brunson on bass. The band's first foray was the American Northeast, and more tours were planned for the rest of 08. Um, interesting bio. Didn't explain a whole lot there, other than they really wanted to get a band together and do the songs. Uh, it is that time for our pal, Adra. God's law in the devil's land. This is the tit. Takes us into the world. I give you a taste. I take a taste. We listen to the song together. Volume up. Yes, indeed. Here we go. Great title for a song.
That riff almost sounds like uh, Life in the Fast Lane. That's Kurt singing. Yeah, there's Jamie. That's a good riff. You don't get mercy from a death. Like those drums. They're like doing a Kenny Rogers and Dolly Parton. They're trading off on the vocals there. You don't get mercy from a desperate man. I could see them torn with prom. I don't know why, but I feel like this would fit pretty good with prom. That's a, nice, that's a little run of a rip there. And the big uh, finale. Never find, never gonna, never gonna find it. There you go. It was pretty much a stop on the dime, wouldn't you say? They kind of did it creatively, but they still stopped it on a dime. Buried in black. Ooh, that sounds like something I could hear Hatebreed doing. Huh. May have to check out a little bit more of that. Life in the fast lane. Uh, what say you? Most important part of my videos, as always, is where you get in the comments below and you set me straight. You, you let me have it. And you say, Shane, I know everything there is to know about this band, and you do not. And that's why I'm here right now, is to tell you exactly what the hell is up. Good, great, fantastic, Shane. I'm a huge fan of this band, Kingdom of Sorrow. I'm a huge fan of Crowbar. I mean, you, you got to be a fan of Crowbar and, all, and Hatebreed and all that. Or, or not, right? I'd be curious to hear from people say, no, I don't like Hatebreed and I don't like Crowbar, but I love Kingdom of Sorrow. Um, All-time favorite songs from those two records that they've released. Were you ever lucky enough to see Kingdom of Sorrow on the road? Have you ever met Jamie Josta? Is he cool, is he cool dude? 
I love his podcast. The only problem is, is he plumps so many goddamn commercials in there that you're like, you know, the guy's like, and anyways, I was putting the body in the back of the truck. And we're brought to you by Rock and Roll Beer Company. You know, you're like, Jesus. Um, all-time favorite songs, all-time favorite album from the band. And do you have a tattoo of Kirk Winstein on your arm? And you're saying, by God, look at that. Uh, fun stories, interesting nuggets, and, and a full dissertary on uh, everything that is Kingdom of Sorrow, if you please. Or you could say, no, not good, don't want it, don't need it. Shane, that just didn't hit me in the goodie bags. It didn't do anything for me. I'm sorry. I know they're talented fellows. I know they have uh, long histories and careers in metal and hardcore uh, it just didn't do anything for me. Now, I can't fault myself for not enjoying this music more. I, sh I know I should, but I can't because I didn't. Not my cup of tea. Don't want it. Don't need it. Never going to listen to that again. All of that can be put in the comments below, don't you know? If you have a hard rock, heavy metal special request, you'd like to see it on the channel. Very simple, very easy, very lemon, very squeezy. Hit one of them links that's in the description below. We will get it on for you in your honor with thumbsy upsies to you. Or you can put it in the comments. When you're down there setting me straight on everything that's Kingdom of Sorrow... You can put your request right there if I see it, if I like it, and we haven't done it on the channel, I'll hit it with a heart, tell you I'm going to do your request. Easiest way to do that is hit one of the links and just get your request in or join the Patreon, and then we just, you'll see it for sure. It's kind of a hit and miss game because there's a lot of comments that come in every single day, so I don't see everything on the channel. Uh, that's all I got. Adrian, my friend, there's your thumbs swinging out. Kingdom of Sorrow. You don't get mercy from